Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can transmit a image or text onto a waterfall on the on either SDRs that you own. You could either transmit it onto a uh, HackR F1 or a Nubilec, um, uh, just a normal USB um, SDR, anything. So first of all, you have to have a for the transmitter, you have to have a Hacker F1. You can get a very affordable and good quality one that is identical to the original one um, from the description in, in the, the link in the description, which will take you to the open source SDR lab um, Hacker F1 shop, which is the best quality and by far the best performing of the Hacker F1s. So you can get that for an excellent price in the description. Um, so yeah, what we're gonna do to start off you go to transmit on your transmitting, uh, go over to S Painter and go to text, which will text will you'll be able to select what you want to send. So let's, for example, put port back, which it comes by default. Um, if you're doing it with two cables connected to um, either one, which I wouldn't recommend because um, if you mess it up, it can break the devices. But I'm a professional, obviously, so I can do this stuff. So you want to do is you want to turn this down to um, 13 or 14 if you're doing it my way. If you're doing it over the air, you will want to use, I don't know, like 30 or 40. But in my case, I'm using the uh, connection between both of them directly. So I don't want to break the antenna or burn it out. So let's set this to like, I don't know, like 600 megahertz. Okay, let's just put this on the play button and then on the other SDR or whatever you can, you can tune it into that frequency, whatever you have. Uh, you can tune it into that frequency, go to capture, uh, go to 600, which is what I selected. <clears throat> and you want to select your bandwidth. So for for this case, it's 500,000. Uh, so I'll set it for mine as 500,000 also. Let's do that then, shall we? 500,000, there we go. That's right. Okay, right, so we've got that both set up there. And you also, for one final thing, if you're using it, it like I am with the double connections uh, directly, uh, you want to turn this down to 16, because then you'll be able to see the message more clearly, otherwise it'll be some red splodge in the screen. So let's go, let's see if it works. Yeah, so as you can see, it printed the word port back on the screen. And of course, if you did have an, uh, if you did have a file for, um, uh, that just went out for some reason. If you do have a file for image, you can also display that and it should show up. I'm not sure if I actually do have any files. Um, no, I don't think I do. Let's have a quick look. I'm pretty sure I don't. You would have a... Ah, here, I might do actually. Yeah, so I don't know, this is some default image that's included in the firmware, but let's try it. Okay, I don't think it's capable of decoding the image. If you're, but only if you're using it, this is transmitting it perfectly fine. It's just because I don't think, um, oh wait, actually then again, might be because of the bandwidth. Let's try that again. Yeah, I don't know if the screen is big enough or something like that, but it is definitely printing something out. So yeah, I think it's definitely possible to do that. It's just that you need a uh... yeah, yeah. Actually, you could you could if you look at the end result. Yeah, that is definitely printing it, but the screen isn't like obviously. Look, yeah, you can see that kind of circular design in there. So yeah, it does work. I think you you'd be better off connecting the hacker to your computer and then decoding it from there. I think it would be a nicer image. But yeah, you can see that works really well. So thank you for watching the video. If you would like to see more videos like this in the future, I'll ask you to like and subscribe. And also please check out the link in the description so you can get yourself a really um, a really good HackRF at an amazing price. I'd like you to subscribe. And then the next video, I think I'll be doing the ADSB transmit feature. You'll want to stick, stick in for that because that's going to be really interesting. So yeah, please like and subscribe, check the video in the description and please, yeah, check out the link in the description for the uh, 
Hacker F1 from Open Source SDR Lab. Thanks for watching.